What's up? It's the Inked Anarchist yet again, and uh, here I am to drop some truth bombs on your ass. All right, so the first thing that uh, I want to cover is uh, the whole Craigslist thing uh, real quick. Uh, so if you're unaware, uh, bills recently passed in Congress that essentially holds, well, can hold uh, potentially websites responsible for any illegal activity that is done using their service. On uh, the case of Craigslist, the danger there is that if somebody is, say, I don't know, using their personals for potentially prostitution or something that could be construed as illicit, uh, what it means is that uh, the people in charge of Craigslist themselves can actually be charged for that and held responsible uh, fine, jail time, all sorts of other things, as a party to the crime. Uh, rather than risk that and to take a stand for internet freedom and uh, over the fact that any service can potentially be abused and be used for something nefarious, uh, the Craigslist uh, people have decided to take down all of their personals, including the strictly platonic ones. Um, now, they do end the message, and if you go there right now, you go to Craigslist and click on any of the personals, uh, what you're actually going to see is uh, a message about it, and it's going to end advising, you know, to all of the people who have met spouses and loved ones through Craigslist and friends, congratulations, and uh, I hope you have many happy years, is basically what they say. So, still being classy about it, but definitely taking a stand in a way that needs to be taken. Uh, if you look at the vote, there's only one person who voted against this, and that person is, drumroll, Rand Paul. Uh, pretty predictably, but uh, just so that you know, he is the one and only guy who actually stood up for freedom this go-round. Right, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, in the wake of the Florida shooting um, and all the outcry from the people who pretty much uh, were set up to make as much money and fame and everything from this as possible. Um, in the wake of that and their outcries and everything, uh, the principal and the school have decided from now on that particular school is only going to allow completely transparent uh, backpacks for all of the students and not only that but hey guess what kids uh, you also have to wear this fun little ID badge um, no unfortunately it is not completely outright a little gold star but it's not super far off either is it um, now the best part about this is uh, in an article on CNN while CNN was talking to these kids, one of them said, well, how can we be held responsible for the actions of one person? That's not fair. That's ridiculous. Gee. Huh. It's ridiculous to hold a bunch of people who have done nothing wrong responsible for the actions of one person they had no control over. That's an interesting concept. Huh. And then, of course, we have to talk about... China. That's right, China. And more specifically, we're going to go ahead and talk real quick about uh, the tariffs that China has actually said they're going to be uh, imposing on uh, the United States. China. So, all right, uh, here's basically what's going on, okay? China has decided that they're going to instill uh, a bunch of tariffs on American goods, uh, which is ironic because that's exactly what everybody said would happen when Trump decided that he was going to impose a bunch of tariffs on Chinese goods. Uh, Europe's done the same thing. Uh, since then, Trump has walked that back. Don't think he's going to do it with China, is he? No. So what's going to happen is uh, exactly what a whole bunch of Austrian economists are saying, which is basically that the American economy is going to suffer severely. Uh, the average American worker is probably going to suffer um, certainly the average American consumer is going to suffer because of this. Um, and this, we're talking about billions and billions of dollars. We're not talking about small sums. We're not talking about 
little bits. We're talking about billions of dollars in lost revenue for companies. We're talking about billions of dollars of lost wages. Well, excuse me, lost wages for American workers. We're talking about a large amount of uh, money being involved here and being lost here. Um, and so now what's going to happen is that the free trade agreements that we've had to this point with China have been thrown completely out the window and it's down to now an outright trade war between America and China. And the bottom line is if you compare the size of the two economies, America does not win this war. So uh, buckle up for that one. And, of course, the last thing that I want to talk to you about today is Mr. Bolton. No, not... not that Bolton. No, no, the man that we need to have a conversation about is, in fact, John Bolton, uh, who is Trump's new pick uh and i got to say you know if you're unfamiliar with john bolton um he did a lot of work for a certain other president you may have heard of george w bush uh specifically on an invasion that you may have heard about uh into a little country uh full of sand and oil called iraq yeah um and uh he is more than anything mr wmd himself um, in fact, uh, not only did he advocate that uh, Iraq had WMDs, which of course we now know they did not, uh, and everything else, but uh, as recently as 2015, he still was supporting that decision to invade Iraq, uh, which has resulted in the death of thousands of Americans, uh, in the death of uh, millions, potentially, of Iraqi civilians, um, and in the total destabilization of most of the Middle East. And he basically said, well, you know, if we hadn't gone in there, you think it would have been all been sunshine and roses? Well, no, jackass, we know it wouldn't have been, but that really wasn't what was important, was it? What's important is that you had us invade a sovereign nation under false pretenses. I feel like maybe that's, that's more important? I don't know. So basically, the long and short of it is that the world is going to hell in a handbasket all thanks to government and thanks to Donald Trump, uh, especially at the moment. Um, so, you know, uh, basically, I guess if you're a prepper, maybe keep prepping. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, man. Uh, I'm not here to judge. But um, my take on the whole thing is, hey, look, government's evil. Big surprise. I'm an anarchist. Duh. Um, so pack up your guns, pack up your shit, get ready to rock and roll. See you next time. China, 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 China,